Hello, this is Jason with Noob Tech YouTube channel. And I'm here to review The Walking Dead wine from 2016 Cabaret Sauvignon from the Last Wine Company. Now, I like those graphics. Those are nice graphics. Looks pretty cool. The cork's real, which is kind of rare nowadays. You don't see that very much. The Walking Dead show was really good. I enjoyed it. Although I didn't watch the very end because it kind of got weird. I love the be beginning, the first few seasons. But after um, like season 8. Or whenever that uh, guy with the bat started uh, showing up, that got a little bit too dark and weird for me. It was funny, I have a friend who uh, decides to start watching it. The episode when the bat, Bertha? The bat with the barbed wire on it showed up. She decided to start watching it then and she just thought everybody was crazy for liking it. Anyway, this wine is pretty good. It's um, it's not my favorite, but it's pretty good for being a dry wine. It costs about ten dollars at Tom Thumb. I've just noticed that I haven't been chilling the wine. I've been drinking it room temperature, which may be a little bit affecting the taste and making it taste worse but I think it's white wine that's supposed to be chilled I'm not positive about that but anyway um I would buy it just to buy it I wouldn't buy more than one bottle of it before I commit committed to it it's a dry wine it's pretty good it's okay good it's not wonderful good but I don't really like dry wine that much. I like it more sweet, a combination of sweet, but it's it's not it's not bad. Grains. Okay, let's see what can I tell you about wine. I'll tell you about alcoholism. Some people can drink six beers a night. And to me, that's alcoholism. Some people will say that's just functioning alcoholism. Yeah, that's what I want to talk to you about. The different kinds of alcoholism. Some people can drink three beers, be done, go to sleep. Some people can drink six beers, be done, go to sleep. And that's functioning alcoholics. People who can drink every night and then go to work next day no problem and then there's alcoholics that once they start drinking once once that wine hits their lips they're just on a tear drinking to get drunk and you people that do it know what i'm talking about it's when you gulp gulp wines you don't sip wine you don't drink wine you gulp it. You're on a mission to get wasted. Because. I say it's because you have demons. That are always in the back of your mind. Buzzing. And the alcohol. Or the drugs. Help you. Forget about that buzzing. And it can be any kind of buzzing. It can be like. Your family's not approving of you. They took your little girl away from you and she's with her dad because the court decided they were a better parent than you just some weird thing like that um like prostitution people are prostitutes because they'd rather be fucked up all the time and drunk on drugs something to make that little background noise go away 
Anyway, there's different kinds of alcoholics. There's kinds who can function, can get up, go to work, and have a full day's work and be fine. But there's others that just have to keep drinking until they just pass out. Those are the ones that are just worry me because I would hate to date one of those girls or one of those alcoholics that just uh drinks and drinks and drinks until they're but like children that's what's weird about alcohol it makes people into children three two o'clock the bars close and then they're just like not functioning adults they're just uh, uh, they ignore the shit out of me and that's because I can't drink that much I only drink now I only drink like two or three drinks but before I used to drink six drinks anything be at more than that then I would just like get so drunk and get hung over that's why I only drink three drinks now is because I hate hangovers hangovers will ruin my whole day I'll be depressed I'll not want to leave. I'll get all nervous in front of anybody. Shoots my anxiety up really high. I can't even drink before work. Um, if I work the next day, I won't drink at all. Not even a glass. Because, like, if you don't eat and you have two glasses of wine or beer, there's a chance I may have a hangover. And I'll, be, I'll just be, like, not worthless, but I just won't be confident at work. As you get older, the hangovers get worse. It sucks. Oh, man. I used to be able to drink six beers, go to work hungover, and still function fine. Now, if I'm just a little bit hungover, I just, like, not confident. It's a mess. Anyway, know your limits. If you're mean drunk, don't drink. If you, uh... If you're... If you're mean drunk, then... I will not date anybody who's a mean drunk. I have a family member that's mean drunk and it's just the worst. They they just become so mean and bullish and I just hate them forever. And then they wake up the next day like if nothing happened and they expect you just to like live with it and accept them and Let the past be the past, but no. It's so mean for someone to treat you and bully you just because they're drinking is not an excuse to me. Anyway, um, if you don't want to be around a bunch of babies and children, adult children, then don't drink so much. Don't be about around drunks. Don't go to bars. Hang out with non-drinking people. Drinking people have like some kind of deficiency to them anyway. And that's why they drink so much. It's okay to be able to just pop out, open a bottle of wine and have one to three drinks and be fine. But if you just got to pass out at night or stumble or slur your words it's it's not a good situation there's something wrong with you you need to go to therapy and have talk therapy group therapy is for poor people a psychiatrist is for rich people go talk your shit out until you're not screwed up in the head anymore and you don't have to drink so much to make the uh demons go away that's my alcoholism pep talk for you and if you ever date a girl always get her drunk now if you ever propose to marry a girl get her drunk make sure she's not a mean drunk she may not drink but after she gets married five years down the road she may start drinking Ten years down the road, she may get depressed and drink a lot, become an alcoholic. She may be a mean drunk, and she's going to be mean all the time, just saying 
God, that's the worst, being around a mean drunk. People are the nicest people, and then all of a sudden they drink, and they're so mean. Sit there and say the meanest things they can think of, like if they have no filter. And they'll just, they, they know your button, so they'll say the meanest things they can, just not even to piss you off, just because they don't care if they piss you off or not. It's weird. You don't want to be married to one of these mean drunks and make your life a living hell. I don't care how much I, I'm in love with a girl. If she's a mean drunk, I may consider not marrying her because she may get depressed and say the meanest bullshit they can to me and ruin my life, make me depressed, take me down with them. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll give you some more truth in the future. This was The Walking Dead. Get it just so you have it because it's a cool ass bottle and it's cool ass graphics. And it'd be cool for a date to pop up in one of these and say, We're going to have some Walking Dead wine. Look at those graphics. Thanks for watching this. Have a good night.